Suffusion is a versatile theme with a lot of options that allows your site to grow and expand as you grow and expand. It has built-in support for adding e-commerce, photo blogging, and social networking, and it has an active support forum. All this for free. If you use this theme and you like it, consider buying the author a cup of coffee or two. Now that we have all the parts in place, we can start building the site. The content and purpose of a site helps determine the design. The purpose of this site we're building is to sell a product, either one we created or one we're selling for someone else. We're building a landing page and links to the content using videos as the product. You can use your own information or product as we go along, or you can copy and paste the information from this site to use until you feel comfortable with using your own. The default design of our new theme only shows a post and a sidebar with six active widgets. We're going to design it with a landing page that looks like this. The options panel for this theme is packed with options. We'll only need a few of these to get our page designed. The tabs at the top of the page are the links to the various styling and formatting options. In general, the links cover options in more detail as they go from left to right. Skinning deals mainly with the overall color and how various aspects of the overall site appears. Layouts is where you customize the templates in greater detail. Topography gets down to the detailing specific fonts and font colors and even mouse behaviors. Sidebars is for the details about customizing each of the widget areas and the navigation bars. Other graphical elements is for customizing the details of the specific parts of the site, like the header, the footer, and the various post types. Back end is for settings that may not affect the look of the site, but that are used for the tracking, analytics, and SEO. And the Templates tab is used for customizing the individual templates used in WordPress. Once we get these settings in place, then we'll only come back when we need to fine tune or change some features. To make our landing page, we'll make changes under the skinning and the other graphical elements in the sidebar tab. Navigate to the skinning tab and under theme selection, scroll to the bottom and click the minima skin. And then click the save reset button and the save page theme selection. This will give our site a general look and feel like this. Before we go too far to the theme, we need to create some content to make the design go smoother. We'll do this in the next video.